Hello, hello, all you beautiful faces. Do you guys see the smile? Do you guys see it? Well, today is the day I did my live stream. Today is the day I woke up with depression sitting on my chest like an elephant. And do you see the smile? Do you see the smile on my face? There is only one, and one thing only, that could take a woman that was as much of a mess this morning and put the smile on her face, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. And I have to give you this testimony. I have to give you this testimony, and that's why I'm doing this video, and I am putting it. We just literally walked in the door from DMV, and I literally could not wait to get home. And I have not been at DMV all this time. Right now, it is 2.25 our time. We were done with DMV at 1 o'clock, and I had to return to do it Alta, so we went and did that. We were stuck in major traffic. But my son was driving with his new license today while we were in that traffic, and I, look, that is not, I have to give you the testimony. So look, you guys, some of you, a very few of you know, this morning I did a live and I was literally crying in the live because I I have been getting pummeled, literally, physically and spiritually pummeled by the enemy because I already fight a, ba a battle every day of my life to fight lupus and fibromyalgia and hypothyroidism and arthritis and degenerative disc disease and the things that I deal with in my body, migraines, not to mention other things as well. But today my son, I have, well, let me go back. I have been dealing with depression on top of all of this. In the last four days, at, with God as my witness, I have been in bed, literally not doing a thing. I have barely been able to move. I have cried my way through most of my days. Now, let me mind you, this is not somebody who was crying, giving up on life. It was because it was just so much with the pain and with the oppression. And if somebody, if you've never dealt with depression, then you're not going to understand what I'm talking about. But people who honestly have really, truly dealt with depression, not somebody who's having a continual pity party and lives in it, but the real depression you will understand what I'm talking about. And my son had, today was the last day that his permit was good. If he did not take his driving test today, he would have had to redo all of his testing to get his permit, the classwork, everything he had to do to get his permit, he would have had to redo it all if he did not get his driver's test today. And so he called DMV yesterday and he spoke with somebody out here at our DMV in Hemet and asked if he if they did walk-ins and the he said sure you can come in and do your test. So this more I prayed yesterday and let me tell you I was crying crying when I prayed it. I was asking the Lord to make it work out that I would be able to be up that I would be able to take him because I knew my husband had a job that it would not work be good for him to pull off of his job and and not only that but that everything would go smoothly with his test my son can be a little bit obsessive at times and so he can get in his head a lot and it makes him nervous sometimes and um, and I didn't want him to be that way during his test and all of this. So, and if I know you guys see me on here happy and chipper, but most of my days are spent in bed. And that has definitely been the case lately. I have one good day. If you guys noticed, I am not in the green outfit that you've seen me in, in the last four videos, which you will see me again in, in the, I think, another two videos. Because I, on one day, I get up and I film tons of videos that day and get them done. And because I'm bedridden so much. And so, 
I was like, Lord, I need you to do this for me, not just for Dylan, but for me and for Tim. Because if Dylan had his license and he could drive without me being in the car, then it's going to be make it easier for him to be able to help my husband with certain things, help me with certain things, grocery shopping, other things. And plus, he'd get to go drive and he wouldn't have to wait for mom to have a good day or dad to be off work. And so... We walk into DMV this morning. And we walk right up to the counter. It was very it wasn't very crowded at all. We were very surprised and um the lady says, Oh, I'm so sorry. You cannot do walk ins. We're booked solid today. She's like, People come from Los Angeles, San Diego, all over to take their tests here because of where we're located and they don't have to drive in super busy roads out in Hemet where you do your testing it's a lot of open roads because it's not populated where the DMV is so it's a very easy test scenario so a lot of people drive there purposely for that and she's like we we can't fit you in and she's like I'm so sorry and I told her I said she goes you guys have had a whole year and she was kind of being a little off-putting and I said, well, I have lupus. And I said, I'm sorry. I know a year is a long time to get something done. But when you have one parent that's sick all the time and then another one that's working and then trying to pick up the load of the other sick parent, I said, a year is not that long of a time when you're as sick as I am. And she's like, I'm so sorry, you guys. Really? Then she was like, oh, my gosh, I'm really sorry. So we walk out the door. And she's like, what you're going to, before we walked out, she's like, what you're going to have to do is take the written test again. Once you get that written test done, you will get another year. And she's like, then you can book your appointment. And they're, they're booked for like two months right now, three months. But book your appointment today. She's, or she's like, book it right away. So I walk outside and I said, I, I saw one of those big cement posts and I just stopped and I leaned at the post and I just was thinking in my head, I was like, like, no, this is not the way this is supposed to end. I'm all, I've prayed. I prayed and asked the Lord. I'm like, this is not how this is supposed to go. Which by the way is faith. So I said, Dylan, Let's go in and take the written test. And he's like, Mom, I haven't studied. I go, Dylan, God has ordained this time for us to be here or else I would have never gotten up out of bed. If he knew we weren't going to be able to take the test, he would have never had me get out of bed because I would have needed to be there. But God has ordained this. So let's use our faith and know that if we are here, then he is going to make it that you will ace that test. And he's like, okay, mom, you're right. You're absolutely right. Because you wouldn't have needed to get out of bed. There would be no purpose for you to get up. If God already knew, he would have told us don't bother because he would have known we weren't going to get it done anyways. So we walk back in. We we ask him where. We go back up to her world. We're going to take the test. What do, we, what do we need to do? And she's like, okay, get this, fill this form out, and stand in that long line over there where there was like 10 people in front of us. So we're standing in that line exactly about seven minutes. And I was like looking down and Savannah just said right out of her spirit. Just hang tight. Everything is going to work out. Everything is going. There's a purpose in this. I don't remember exactly how she said it, but she's like there. God, this is going to work out. There's a purpose in this. And she just said it right out of her spirit. Literally within two seconds, a young girl walks up to us and she goes, Hi, are you the the person whose um, permit is expiring today? You need to take the driving test. And, and he's all, yes, I'm the one. I go, we're the ones. And, and she says, I heard about your story. And she's all, I'm so sorry. She's all, so I went and asked the lady who does the driving test and asked her if she'd fit you in. And she said she'd fit you in. Now, this is at a DMV that people come from all over California locally, like within a hundred miles, they say, to de test at this DMV because of the driving conditions.
because no one wants to do a driving test in LA, in LA and no one wants to do it in San Diego where it's cray cray and it's like insane and out here you've got big open roads to do your test on and we were and Savannah's like what what like I'm serious right there she's a what say what like she was like shocked that they and she's like come with me all you have to do is go right up to window 18 and the lady is already ex expecting you and you're going to take your driver's test today and and I and she's like do you have your do you have your um insurance card and do you have your paperwork and do you have um, your registration and Dylan didn't have his registration and he goes where is it I go where is it and and he's all it's in the car mom and I go I'll get it and the minute I stepped outside DMV I just started bawling because I was just in awe of God's goodness and I was just like oh my gosh Lord you're so amazing you did this just for us and I mean this never happens at a DMV people it never happens where they come pull you out of this massive long line of people and go you come right over here you're gonna take your test today and that they show you favor only God could do this can someone open the door for the cat please so we go and we we go up to the line and and all of us are literally like tears in our eyes just knowing what God just did and I go Dylan do you see what the Lord just did for you and he's like mom yes I know and we're all of us have tears in our eyes and we're all just standing there in the middle of DMV just praising God just thanking him and just like in awe of his goodness because it just never happens and I go you know if God just did that for you then you have this Dylan don't you have to know that God? You, there's no way you're going to fail this test today if God just did this for you. And he's like, you're right, Mom. I've got this. He's all I've got this. So we walked up to the window. She's like, okay. She's all, you the one that, you know, like everybody was so lovely and amazing to us. Like lovely and amazing. And let me tell you, you all know, if you have been to DMV, they usually have the most snottiest people ever and the people at the Hemet DMV everybody down to the security guard was just like amazingly kind and beautiful and so we go out she's like she did the stuff we didn't pay any fees nothing she's like you just pull your car up into lane two and you're ready to go there was one car in front of us in that lane when we pulled in the timing was explicit down to the T and so they Dylan had we had to get out of the car and Dylan Savannah and I just walked the whole DMV the whole time he was doing it praying and just praising God thanking him we walked the entire building we must have walked it 10 laps and the security guard saw us walking and we were commenting and saying stuff that our son was testing and every single person came up and was like did you pass did you pass like so kind and he passed and so we were back in line and we thought we had to go over and get the picture taken and they told us to go to this line so we were in this line and the same girl that walked up to us before she that pulled us out of line she goes did you pass like she was so excited and he's all like passed and she's like well good she's all because I've got it all worked out for you you come out of this line the lady at window five she's all I already told her about you so you go right over there you don't have to wait in this line she's going to take care of you at window five we walked over at window five she saw there's just one person in that line don't worry it's gonna go quick and she was helping the man the man had to fill out a form and she's all come on up here sweetie like we did not have to wait even a moment not a moment and Dylan got his thing handed to him and then when we walked out the I was sharing with the security guard and he stopped us at the door and he's like where do you guys go to church and we I was because I was telling him while we waited in the little line for a moment I said you know you don't know what God did for us today and I said 
you work here. Does this ever happen? And he goes, oh, I know what God did for you today. He's all, I know exactly what God did for you today. He goes, because I work here. And he's all, this never happens. He said, this never happens. He goes, this never happens here at DMV. This has never happened at this DMV. And I've been here for years and years. I'm telling you. Now, I have to backtrack a little because I need you guys to understand how significant this is. When I woke up this morning, I did not want to take my son. I was on the live even telling you that I asked my husband, can you please do it? And by faith, by faith, the Lord told me, you get up and do a live. And you tell them what you're dealing with. You share and let them know how you have to press past what you're going through to get up and do what you're doing. And I did it. And if I hadn't by faith, made that step, then we would have not gotten the favor of God today. And if I didn't stop when they told us no outside that DMV and say, no, this isn't the way this is supposed to go. That's faith. That is saying, I have prayed and my God answers my prayers. That is faith. So when people tell you no, and you know that you've prayed a prayer in faith, do not accept it. You have to say, no, I know my God. I paused and I said, this is not the way it's supposed to turn out. And if I wouldn't have done that, we would have, my son would not have his license right now. And you have no idea. This, all the depression is broken off of me. These tears are tears of happiness and joy because my God is faithful. And he is a good God. And I was saying it in the live this morning, you guys. I was saying it. He just, he works it out for more than one person. And I know I'm, I'm messing it up now. And I know that's the enemy trying to steal the, the memory of how I put it. He, if I hadn't stepped up because I said by the time I was done with my life, I was already feeling better. Every little act of faith brings more of God's provision. But even when he told the Israelites to circle the, the great wall of Jericho, and then they, do you think, and, and sing your, blow your horns, toot your horns. Do you think it didn't take every bit of faith they had to do what God told them to do? That's what this day was for me. I, You have no idea the heaviness that was on my heart when I got up this morning. And there's no mistake that God had me do a live because you guys saw it on my face. You saw it. I was sobbing on the live. But he's so faithful. He does not leave us in the condition we're in as long as we are crying out to him and that we are using our faith even when it looks like we it, everything around us tells us we should stay in bed or that we should just give up, that we shouldn't get up and do a video. We shouldn't let people see us like this. You know, I, I, the enemy was telling me every single thing this morning. Oh, you're going to look like a fool. Look, you've got five men in here and you look like crap today. Trying to get me to care what people think. Trying me to get to care about this instead of this. This is what matters. My heart is what matters. My face does not mean a stinking thing in the grand scheme of things. Makeup is nothing. It is just a paint to make the barn look a little prettier. My face is the barn, so to speak. But it, uh, doing all of this is nothing without the Lord.
but I couldn't, I just couldn't even wait to get home to tell you. And I, I hope it's translating because I just, you know, it, it just doesn't ever seem to translate. But you guys have no idea what God did for me today and what he did for my son and what he did for my husband. Because even when my husband works all day and I am bedridden, you guys don't know, sometimes my husband has to walk me to the bathroom and put me on the toilet and hold me up while I go to the bathroom because the pain is so bad in my body. And then he has to come home and cook dinner. And then sometimes he has to go return movies. No. You don't know what God did for my family today by providing that license for my son. He's just so worthy of the praise, you guys. You have no idea. And I just had to share this testimony with you today. I had to share it because God is faithful. And I mean, the least day, and I was telling this to my son and my daughter, that the last couple days, I felt like the Lord was saying to me something, and I was taking it as I was thinking it, I because I was thinking, oh, that's my thoughts, that's, that's wishful thinking, but now I know it was God, because this is what he said. He said, on the day that is the devil's day, it is his playground. Halloween, All Hallows Eve, the day that the attack on the body is the greatest, I'm going to give you a miracle. And that's what he said. And he kept saying it to me over and over, and he's all, and it's going to be in his face. That's exactly how he put it to me. Because you're my daughter, and I love you, and he's my son, and I love him, and Tim is my son, and I love him. And on the day that you would least expect it to come to pass for you is the day I'm going to give it to you. And now I don't have one ounce of depression on my body. Not one. But if I didn't by faith get up and step out today, then I would have never gotten this miracle and neither would my son. So I'm telling you this to encourage you guys just step out even when it seems like it's the least likely circumstance that's when you have to act because that's when your miracle will come so I love you guys I again I think I have some of the greatest people on YouTube I love you so much and I am so grateful for you and I pray for each and every one of you every day even on the days I don't feel like praying I do I pray more for you guys than I do for myself because I truly care and I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you so trust me please don't give up and just just step out when it seems least likely to do it, and God will never let you down. I love you, and I pray that he keeps you safe today, especially of all days, and that you have an amazing weekend, and I pray that he just keeps you safe always. God bless you. Bye.